Hi, my name is Aubrey Schmidt, and I work at Tampa's Laurie Park Zoo in the Animal Science Livestock Department. Recently, we have changed from a natural horsemanship with positive punishment training style to a more operant conditioning with positive reinforcement training style. One tool that has helped this transition is an extendable target pole created by my coworker Pedro and myself. It is made out of very durable pipes and has holes drilled down the side. A screw fits perfectly in these holes to give support when lengthening the target pole. A yellow tip is at the top to indicate where the animal needs to target and ultimately helping the horses with their colorblindness. In the livestock department, we have a variety of animals ranging in sizes and personal needs. From llamas to sheep to pigs to goats and horses, all of our animals have different personalities and therefore different reasons to use a target pole. The same size target pole for all of them wouldn't really be realistic. However, having several target poles for one department would create clutter and not to mention inconsistencies when it would come to training. And since we are so new starting out with our positive reinforcement training, inconsistencies is the last thing we would need. Having the ability to extend or shorten the target pole can tailor to each animal, as well as the task that you are asking them to accomplish. As you can see here, it varies greatly. McCormick is one of our ponies that we are using this target pole on. Normally, he is quite feisty and tends to be very aggressive towards other horses, as well as his keepers. As you can see in this video, even simple interactions with him, like entering a corral and putting his halter on, can show some challenges. His overall intelligence and curiosity doesn't help either. Some of his issues we have with him include biting, nudging, nipping, head throwing, kicking, and a general personal space concerns. All of this interferes with his daily care and upkeeping. Furthermore, he becomes extremely impatient and pushy when walking to and from corrals. He will literally nudge a keeper to make them lose their balance, making it easier for him to lunge for grass. When walking him with reinforcements, the aggression can get even worse. Overall, it was creating a safety hazard for all. When brainstorming for some ideas, targeting was suggested because of his extreme intelligence but his personal space issues hindered that thought. After making the target pull that can extend, we were able to target train him. We started from the outside of the stall, establishing personal space as the target grew. Eventually, we moved out to a corral and the extendable target pole came in handy. The same practices could be used for our aggressive pig Arnold. Extending and shortening the pole when necessary. Dylan, another one of our half-linger ponies, had an issue with getting his feet cleaned. Every time a keeper would go near his legs, he would start pawing, kicking, and swinging around to avoid his feet being cleaned. In this kind of situation, the target can be used as a tool for everyone's safety. It could be extended as far as possible so the person doing the target training can be out of the way of the person who is cleaning their feet. This keeps the person with the target pole out of harm's way and gives the keeper cleaning their feet plenty of room to work. Between training a variety of animals, all different sizes, 
and for different purposes. Helping with aggression and other issues and regular daily activities. This target pole can be used in many different ways.